everyone on the planet will be connected. Mm-hmm. Practically every <coughs> useful appliance will be part of the internet. Sensor networks will be part of the internet. Mobiles will continue to proliferate. Uh, and then we're going to go off the planet. So we're already in the process of running, I don't mean Google, this is the rest of the, uh, NASA and others are running a, an interplanetary internet, primarily between Earth and Mars and the International Space Station, but that will continue over time. So uh, I see this continuing to evolve as this incredibly symbiotic relationship between information, the internet, and people, where we are sharing information with each other in ways that we never could before. I think governments need to be very, very conscious of the um, economic value of the Internet and be very careful not to destroy its potential for GDP growth, per capita income increase, and for supporting entrepreneurs with new ideas. The network is just barely begun in some sense. The ideas and new, new applications are showing up daily. Very, very successful new enterprises have emerged. There's no reason why they shouldn't be coming from India as well as other parts of the world. There is no one is barred from having an idea and from putting it onto the internet, except that the local resources may turn out to be an issue. Now, entrepreneurs in India and everywhere else in the world are absolutely free to create new applications for mobiles because the basic mechanisms for supporting that are scattered around on the internet. They don't have to be local. But for many of the new businesses that have started, they had access to significant computing resources in order to build their applications. We will get there eventually in India, too. And as that um, available resource continues to um, become accessible at, at reasonable cost, we will see more and more of the entrepreneurial talent showing up visibly. You've already established a capability in IT in this country. You've demonstrated that you have trained people that can do very, very good software work, and you've exported that capability elsewhere by outsourcing. So there's nothing stopping the Indian entrepreneur other than having access to, to capital, having access to computing capabilities. Well, I worry about the security and safety of the network on behalf of all the users, and so I care a lot about improving security and, and providing privacy and confidentiality. I also want to see the network grow in terms of faster bandwidths and less expensive devices and a proliferation of platforms that people can use. Uh, for me, I think what excites me more than anything is that it's still fresh and new. People can invent new applications on the net. The Internet will absorb them and amplify them. Voices that never would have been heard can now be not only heard, but they can be very successful uh, business people as a result. So I'm excited about this. It still, it still keeps me um, awake and imagining what the next thing might be.